So we're working on sites. Nineteen millimeter. Smack it like a minute. No alignment issues. Yeah, a little bit too much uh, on the inner side. The inside. Too much too out, as they say. All right, we're gonna swap out the brake discs. Um, if you can see it. Uh, yep, that's why. All right, let's get the tools. Torx 50, perhaps. Yes, let's find out. So, stick your screwdriver in and push the caliper back. Oh. Yeah, I need a smaller one. Damn it. That's the first. Stick it in over here a little bit. Uh, put it a little bit over there. Uh, now we have some room to pull it back just a little bit so the, the brake pads uh, are free to move to move out seats. Do you see? I think it's this box. <laughs> nice, nice stuff. Mm, let's grab a 55. Check it out. Oh, it fits perfect. Damn it. Torx 55. Let's try the 60. Nope. 60 doesn't do it. So uh, 55, as you can see, fits like. A glove. Nice. 55. Looks like we need to use a 9mm um, hex key. So we're gonna use this 10mm uh, and uh, make a 9 out of it. Thank you Jaguar for uh, all the shops are closed. So uh, I'm left with this decision. So uh, order a 9mm hex key if you're gonna do it yourself. Stop moving! For uh, doing this, like me, uh, take a good look at your sights, uh, make sure the smallest one, Morgan, and then uh, grind the smallest one uh, a bit down. Take uh, your calipers, measure them again. So, we only did a, well, one tenth of a, of a millimeter here. Uh, this is 9.3 something like that but uh only the top not the bottom yeah so on this uh on this side we need the bottom and the opposite side as well and do one thing at a time so i'm doing two but yeah whatever so uh yeah let's go let's go nine bits uh nine a bit less than nine and a bit less than nine and nine and a bit okay let's give it one more Ugh. one more little grind right over here on the edge and see what we're uh dun, 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 dun. yep it works <laughs> Sweet. And there we go, 9mm. Yep. 
cruising pretty well as you can see good and deep all the sizes fit so not uh, the best tool in the world but it will work adapt and overcome importance so some caps on there just feel for it there you go second one pretty tight but the tool works so yep. yep we're gonna clean them up because uh, there's some gunk some goo on there goopy gunk all right now have to get off this uh, little thing here yep. the spring the super spring yep. come on get off I think there's a lip in here. Yep. That's probably it. Yep. There we go. So just pry underneath this one. And there we go. We should be able to. it out it's a little bit tight so let's try to move the piston a little bit yep perfect and before we take it off we need to hang it on the spring so let's get our tool hangers leftover stuff oh need to lift it out of the, the clamp all right Yep. You can use some uh, Benji cords, whatever works for you, of course. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or we can hang it on the, uh, yeah, the wishbone. Which one will do? All right, yeah, that's gonna hold. Nice. Now let's uh, make sure we have the right stuff here. Let's check it out. This is uh, <laughs> not marked for a Jaguar. I see it only just now. So uh, normally it's marked for the rear or for the front. This is for the front as well. Uh, it's for Jaguar XF should be good these ones and these ones should be good as well also Jaguar so Bosch TRW I'll take uh, this box right over here and these ones are not new <laughs> what the hell? They've already been used. What the hell? Yeah. This is the marking from the piston. What the fuck? Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we'll need to make a complaint about that one. So this is the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. They fit at least, they fit, but uh, they're not new, so um, kind of weird. So, 
we have TRW these ones are new <laughs> as you can see weird uh, these ones are correct yep fits same thing good for a uh, sensor you can put the sensor uh, right over, over there um, yeah, you'll use these, these ones of course so that's uh, pretty bad I ordered them new and they give this shit yeah that's uh, some weird uh, some weird things but this one is a really small packet so let's open it up and see what's uh, what it's all about so these should be for the rear um, yeah they're all always smaller but uh, these ones are too small I think for uh, Jaguar so uh, let's continue with uh, these ones put some uh, anti-seize on there a nice amount not too much else it will fall on your brakes and you don't want that because you need to stop when you apply the brake pedal and there you go yep. now we need a number 15 perhaps number 15 millimeter the bottom one as well you want to do the bottom one first because else you'll tip over the, the whole thing yeah always a good sound Crack. a bit too hard that one so no time gains there damn it try to reverse the bolt to free up the threads instead of keep on uh, loosening it up because the chance exists that you uh, might end up screwing up the bolt and then you need to drill it out and that will be a bad day so this clamp is hanging a bit in the way Let's loosen it up. There we go. Up. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, that will be okay for the moment. So rust and uh, some lock tire or something I mean it's a bit hard to uh get it out so two different uh, sizes top one is smaller so uh, don't mix them up Hopla. 
now you should be able to uh, remove the clamp so it turns out I loosened the, the wrong bolt <laughs> uh, so yeah maybe I should give you a visual <laughs> so uh, these two this one and the top one I loosened the uh, one in the center <laughs> for the, the bearing but yep that's not it so mistakes hey it's life man it can happen so lefty loosey of course and 15 millimeter as well and there we go and they should have the same length yeah Yep, 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 that's better. Alright, now we're gonna smack this bad boy and uh, take off these uh, things here, the safety um, plug thing. Mm -hmm. Take a while. And we're just pushing it back on. I guess we'll have to destroy it. Yes, destruction is the only way. Or no fuck it, destruction. So open up a hole. And get your pocket screwdriver. As always, our savior. And just break it. Come on. And there we go. And on the other one. Tip. If you don't want to hit your the threads, screw it on. And there we go. Always works. Always works. Who's the best? I think you know. Who's the best? I think it's Steve. Oh. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Uh, indicator that your uh, disc is uh, worn. So this one is sitting over here. This one is gone, you can tap off the indicator uh, thing here. And now you can see it's uh, totally toast. So, let's, uh, let's swap it out. Makes a nice noise, doesn't it? This is uh, the front disc, should be front discs, so let's uh, compare. No honking the horn. Somebody is gonna get pissed. This 
looks uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, yeah. Yep, looks good to me. Yeah, let's stop looking at discs and uh, let's clean up before we install new ports. Let's clean up the hub a little bit. Also a good time to ch check out your bearing. If you hold this, you'll, uh, you'll feel it grind if the, the grease has left the bearing, but it's still okay. So. Yeah. This has to be very clean, else you'll um, have uh, differences on the heat socket. So this side should be nice and even and also this little uh, side here should be clean, as clean as you can uh, possibly get it. With this kind of brush you can get in between the spots, this one is uh, the other brush and the drill. So uh, like, like that, we'll go around and around, make sure it's clean. Clean up your brake saddle, of course. Yep, looks better. If your brake saddle is at some uh, high spots, dirt that's swallowed on there. Just gently put the file Yep, a lot better So your, uh, your brake pads won't catch on uh... Yeah, it's probably better with another file But yeah, if you look at it Yep, a lot better, a lot smoother So they can glide and don't get stuck on the high spots Don't ever do it, of course, because uh, but you'll see it when uh, you file down a little bit. You'll see the the rust corrosion uh, burst, and uh, you'll get to remove the high spots. Yep, a lot better. And of course, the under bottom the underside what the fuck the bottom should do the bottom as well see what I mean see the dust jumping up those high spots those are the ones you want to remove Clean up the clamp, brake saddle, it's called in Dutch, I think in English too. Uh, well, in, in Dutch it's a uh, rem saddle. So, there we go. Some Dutch for you guys. Um, and let's put everything back together before it starts to rain. So, slide it. And try to find the hole. I know it's sometimes it's uh, not so easy. I've been there, but that. No pun intended. <coughs> Alrighty, there we go. We found the holes. Ugh. 
Hop là. That's one. Oh, two. Let's tighten them down. I'm guessing uh, 60 newton meters will do the trick. Yep. yep. There we go. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. Then this one slides in. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. And then we have to compress the caliper. And that we can do with our super press tool no problem yep it's getting late I should stop yep there we go and whoopah. yeah You can feel if it goes in smooth, uh, almost have to use no force. But uh, that means that's a pretty good caliper. Still in good nick. And you'll feel uh, when it's at the end of its movement. All over my voice. Most people will think I'm crazy. I have to talk to myself. Which I do, but and which I am. It doesn't matter. And we're there. Up la. We're there. We're there. And then we go back a little bit, a couple of turns, take out the tool, ready to go. Up la. Now, um, we can uh, put in our other brake pads. We have to press this one in in, uh, in the cylinder. Whoa, yeah, man. If you want, you can clean up these edges as well. Um, but uh, this one isn't touching uh, the edges, so uh, let's uh, install it and check it out. Man, my back is hurting. <sighs> All right, and for this one, look, it's not touching it. So I'm gonna clean it up. There's no uh, no use, no point in doing that. This one has a a sensor, a brake pad wear sensor. You should uh, put on a new one and uh, install it. I couldn't find one in time, so I'm gonna arrange it. Uh, later on or just cut it and uh, connect it and tell the customer that uh, it won't be working anymore uh, but yeah it's uh, the, everything is closed it's uh, vacation time and uh, cannot find it so yeah what to do what to do so uh, I'm gonna cut it on yeah found uh, the spring that was on here and it fell oh, there it is so I'll try to uh, install the sensor again. It has been touched, so I think it will. Um, yeah, I think it will um, say uh, the pads are uh, worn down anyway. But if you uh, have a new one, now is the time to stick it in. And can you see it? Can you see it? Just stick it in in the hole in the pads. Like this. Yep. And then you tap it down gently with a ah, screwdriver or something. Just uh, help it a little bit. Yep. And then it clicks in, into place. And then you're good to go. So, a little bit to the left, a little bit on the right.
push it push it a little bit more or from over here perhaps I don't know. Oh, and there we go and uh, normally it should be in place but you can see this one yeah the spring is gone so uh, <sighs> so somewhere uh, over here no let's not make it too difficult and then, so it's obvious when another mechanic uh, sees this he knows uh, exactly what time it is and he doesn't have to worry about the reset all right let's get this stuff off insulation uh, stuff oh nice yeah let's get the knife yeah don't forget your two and these are pretty fine wires so I'm gonna light them up a little bit and try to remove the isolation this way You see it? Up. Try to catch it on your fingernail. Up. And there we go. Clean wire. Aluminum. Oh, Jaguar. Copper was too expensive. I see. Mm -mm. Heat it up a little bit, up, a little bit more. Yeah, I know it will. Uh, it will be hot, but hey, ah, you're not made of sugar, are you? So, kind of cool. Yep. Now we can twist the wires, solder them together, and the. Uh, message on the dash will be gone even without the reset I think but uh, we'll confirm that a little bit later all right so these ones are pretty fine I'm gonna push them together like this double the fan and uh, solder the points and then put some uh, tape on there or some uh, shrink uh, stuff Yep, let's do that. So oh, pretty small stuff. Um, yep. <laughs> no. No. <gasps> nice. Ooh, pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. So uh, I think it's gonna be uh, a green one. Yep, that's gonna be the one I think. All right, let's do it. Yep, she's ready. So, get a little bit on your soldering iron so you can make a, a heat bridge between the wire and the soldering iron. And then you can melt the wire. Ah, you can melt this the soldering wire into uh, the wire so it flows through the wire perfect and this is a pretty pretty good one from my Milwaukee um, 12 SI good stuff pretty fast uh, gets hot in like oh, 10 seconds not even 10 seconds all right we grab a piece of uh, shrink tube and we heat it up a little bit there we go other side there we go don't burn it <laughs> just a little bit on the top to seal it and there we go will be good for uh, 100 years guarantee and this one I'll put over here 
and I strap it down. All right, let's continue. There we go, something like that. Always nice to have the the drunk guys at the bar checking it out, giving their comments live. I would do it like this, and I would do it like that, and everybody knows they can't even shit right. But yeah, hey. there we go. Look at that, nice. Let's uh, cut it. And that looks pretty professional, doesn't it? Alright, so the wire hangs down. If water flies uh, on it, it will drip off instead of go in. And if you let it hang up or point up, whatever. So now, let's get our... Uh, all right, glider pins uh, cleaned. Yep. Oh. Just a little spot. Yep. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? I'm overdoing it. Whatever. Yeah, you get it right. Oof, white grease. Yep, that will do. Yep, and the bottom one. Yep, wiggle, 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 and then they go. And then try to, did you hear it? And the, the threads of the, the threads of the top one connecting with the, the threads in the hole. Now, yep, try to thread them in correctly, of course. One is in, the bottom one not. But it's going in, it's going in. Yep. Just make sure you're not cross cross threading them. Because that would be a bad thing. Yep. It's kind of hard for all the uh, stupid wires, and <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh. So once it's in there. You can just start turning them in. And this one is, yep, good already. Man.
All right. Yep. Now the bottom one. Yep. Make sure it's going on nice and straight. Pretty important. You'll feel it when it starts to threaten. You hear the feet, feet. Yeah, there we go. Oh look, stupid assholes on a bike. Nice. Tighten down. Tighten down the top one. Yep. Yep. All right. There we go. Uh, it works. It works good. I would uh, recommend buying uh, the nine millimeter hex key before you uh, do this because you have to put some force on it. Uh, not used to uh, doing these kinds of things, making your tools and figuring it out. Uh, buy, uh, buy the hex key number nine and be safe, of course. Pretty important stuff here, so uh, regarding safety. Yep, put the caps back in, then we put the spring back in and uh. That one is like this. Kind of a tricky one. Should we do these ones first? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. in there so uh, look yeah make sure it's well seated and then nice it's gonna be nice um, yeah let's put on the wheel and be done for the front all right yep Good. Except for the rim. Of course, the rim doesn't look so good. But... Let's take a. I think it's 140 centimeters. Let's uh, make sure. PSZ with uh, the chrome, if the chrome breaks, just uh, put a, stick a screwdriver in there, peel it off and uh, then use a number, number 18 socket to uh, put the nuts on.
look, it's also already starting to catch. Yo, check for play. Yo, pretty good. Nice. Don't forget to put uh, to press the brake pedal. Uh, let's see how much newton meter uh, these nuts take. These nuts. Yeah. So for the front, how to uh, what newton meters to uh, to tighten up uh, the clamp, the um, the brake um, piston, the clamp, whatever. Uh, Fifty eight newton meters. Uh, then then. Um, uh, the brake saddle where the pads uh, sit in 115 newton meters uh, that were the ones with uh, 15 millimeter uh, bolts on there so um, and for the rear uh, the clamp 28 newton meters and the brake saddle 103 newton meters yeah, pretty good and the wheels uh, the wheel nuts 125 newton meters so there we go let's do that Typical. Yep, 125. Ah. Oh. No. <clears throat> yep. Damn it. Yep, that's good. Yep, Milwaukee did a great, great job. Perfect. Almost perfect. A little bit more on that one. So 125 newton meters. I'll see you in one second for the back, the rear brakes. Take care. Subscribe. Peace. Love you.